What's going on you guys, Foster, and I'm back with another Unranked Challenge series video. This time I'm playing Hecarim, he was the most voted champion by quite a bit, to be honest, so... Uh, what I do want to mention is I don't have movement speed quins on this account. So I'm playing with my Rengar page on Hecarim right now. That's why I have different runes, but the runes and masteries I normally use are in the description. Click that guide to Hecarim, and then everything you need to know will be there. But yeah, I'm just gonna be crippled a bit this game, but I hope that it wouldn't matter that much. Not having movement speed quins kind of hurts Hecarim, so that somewhat sucks. But you can't have it all, I suppose. I think I should be fine. Let's crank is stealing his red buff or something, so I'm just gonna... Have the help from Vayne is more than enough. The thing with this is I do have more armor pen, so that kind of makes up a bit of the damage I'm lacking for movement speed right now, but my mobility is a lot less. So that's slightly a, like a slight problem, not having that much mobility. Alright, yeah. Hecarim, the main problem with Hecarim is that in the early few levels, like the uh, first three levels when clearing, you really lose a lot of health, but once you back and you get like the Hunter's Machete as well as the uh, Hunter's Talisman, then you're fine. Not That will not be a problem anymore. So what I'm gonna do simply this game is just uh, clear three camps and I'm back. Taking a second point into my queue because I'm planning to just farm up a bit. Playing these three camps at least and then I'll hit level four and then I'll see. I'm gonna pick up this and I'm gonna pick up one more health potion. This way I have more than enough, uh, like, sustain to pretty much just get through the game, get through my early jungle. It looks like this guy kills him, that's really not well played. That's a really nice play on Zinn's part. Zinn is really dangerous early game, and since he, this is a melee range a mage on mid lane, he, he has a, quite a few uh, problems against Zinn. So it's a solid pickup to pick Zinn against Echo. But I think uh, top lane ganks will soon be in order. Once I hit level 4, I can easily gank that, no problem. Zinn is just wrecking this guy in mid lane right now. I might also just decide to run mid lane right after my raves, because this echo will probably be very free. And I think he already flashed, judging on that he didn't flash away earlier. I'm gonna tell him to wait just a sec for me to clear this camp, and then I'm just gonna gank this Echo. There we go. I just ghosted there, by the way, just because it gives me a lot of extra damage. As you saw, oh yeah, I need to help him push. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, yeah, my bad. I you always need to help your laner push that because he would not be able to do it on his own. Oh, what the hell? Not doing that. Yep. Yeah, nope. I'm not doing that against Kazix because it's uh, he's uh, he has so much isolation damage that I just kill myself doing that. But what I was about to say, like I just use my ghost just because it doesn't have that long of a cooldown, but it gives me a lot of extra damage. So I'm just gonna use it just randomly to get the extra damage from it. Maokai also teleported, I have 4 people bot lane, I don't really want to go there, but if they're gonna dive, then I'm gonna do something about it. This is also not that important of a dragon, so if they want to go for that dragon, I don't really care. It should be a kill. Yep. Oh, uh, that was a really... the K K6 was really there, out of position right there. The Zin reacted really well, like... Once I pinged it, he reacted instantly, so that's good. I really like that. They also swapped lanes, apparently, so they put Mal Maokai mid lane and e uh, Echo top. That's actually good for us, because Maokai really doesn't roam that well. And doesn't really have that much damage to roam with. He, all he does is really snare people. So, if Echo is the top laner, 
it has a lot more uh, like damage pressure, a lot less, a lot less damage pressure coming out from them. Um, picking up this, that's really well played, and Echo is just losing top lane as well, which is nice. And I'm simply just, I'm not picking up boots right now. I'm just picking up this because I had the money for it. Like if I didn't have the money to complete this item, I would probably just pick up like a longsword and boots. But since I had the money, like the extra CDR, since I already have like 10% for my runes on this page, just getting more CDR helps me out. Looks like the Zin has this Maokai pretty much dead. I killed. Ah, uh, no, never mind actually. I almost, I'm almost level 6. Once I hit level 6 on Hecarim, you can easily just gank whenever your ult's up. To get a free kill pretty much, so that's really nice. I need to quickly check something here. Yeah, okay, yeah. Fine. Like, as you can see right now, clearing the camps is not a problem at all. They swap back, it's Echo mid again. All right, it looks like Bolt has that kill. Oh, that, that's the teleport. Right. That's pretty much just the power of Hecarim. As you can see, just go in. Like, with your ult, everything, smite. Make sure you use your smite before you make contact with your E, though. Because uh, if you do that, then you get more damage from it. Aye. Alright. Teleport from Maokai happens. Doesn't matter. I'm not gonna push that turret. I'm backing. I'm gonna pick up my jungle item because I have that much... Uh, I have the money for it. Yeah, I'm just picking that up. I'm just gonna run to blue buff. I'm not gonna wait for my mana to regen because I'm running to blue buff, so I'm picking up the blue buff. And with the blue buff I get the mana regen to make this up, so don't wait for the amount of time that it takes here. Because you're gonna get blue buff anyway. I'm gonna smite this because it gives me the uh, extra damage from the Grom buff. And uh, I'm not gonna gank it in the next 45 seconds, I think. I'm just gonna clear my jungle once completely. So that's why I also use the smite there. It just speeds up my jungle clear a tiny bit. But with the warrior, as you can see, I clear these camps no problem at all. I pretty much just delete these camps with a couple Qs. There you go. I think my rave should spawn as well very soon. Nope, that's not what I wanted to open. My bad. You probably can't even see what I'm opening right now, but I'm pressing Alt-Tab for a few things. When I'm walking between camps. I accidentally put the second point into my W. You really just want to max your Q second, uh, your E second, my bad. So don't put what I just did. You can't see it, I think, but... Yeah, just don't put points into your W after, uh, after your Q, because maxing E is way more valuable. Ping that I'm on my way top lane. E gives you the lower cooldown, gives you more speed out of it. Yeah, there you go. I think I might be dead here. Yeah, I took way too much damage from the Rift Herald. And uh, I don't know what brand, uh, how far brand and stuff were out, but they get the kill, so it doesn't matter. I think they'll get uh, the Echo as well. I'm not sure what this brand was doing. I might not have seen it correctly, but it took him quite a while to get there. Maokai was probably just walking down already. And just the main problem was that I took so much damage from Rift, Rift Herald. The way that I could have prevented that was to actually... Um, I could have prevented that by simply ghosting faster, so I could walk away from it, but I ghosted way too late, and I couldn't build up the movement speed to get away from that. So, that was kind of my bad. I could have escaped that if I played it a bit better. And tell bot lane that I'm on my way. It's the lane I haven't ganked yet, so I need to help them a little bit. I, th I think they're fine, honestly, but oh, that kind of sucks, though. Callista ult is really gay. Can you, can you clear the... No, never mind. I'm just gonna walk away then. Also, I picked up Boots instead of like a Phage because uh, Boots gives me the movement speed. 
Like, I was lacking some mobility there on top lane as well. It gives me armor, which is helpful against Kha'Zix, because it helps me just duel him. Damn. Right, I really, I'm just gonna gank Echo, I think. He doesn't have ult up, so I can pretty much easily kill him, I, I believe. Wouldn't be a problem. I'm just gonna ult for it, I don't care. I'm not waste. I'm not waiting for that since uh, I know Kha'Zix was like somewhere in this region right there. Like he would have probably been there, so... If I like... Try to chase him for too long without using my ult, then I might have just wasted enough time for Kha'Zix to get there and kill me. Or for them to kill me together, so... That's why I just simply ulted. It's not worth it hanging on to your ultimate for if you can get a free kill with it. Even though that kill was not worth that much money, it's still a kill and it's still pressure from the kill. So I'm simply just using it. And I'm gonna clear the uh, Crux and then I'm gonna back for a Phage. Picking up Phage is uh, way, way better than picking up Sheen earlier on Hecarim because it also offers you movement speed and flat AD. Also gives you some health. Like Sheen sure is nice for a little bit of extra burst damage, but overall Phage is better. Of course, you're just building into Trinity Force right away, so. Pick this up, pick that up, pick a pink ward up. Maybe a health pot can be nice. This time I'm waiting for my mana because my blue isn't up for a little bit yet. Alright. This is not really an important dragon, but we still should probably get the dragon soon. They're gonna go for it right now. I might be able to kill them just straight up, but I'm not sure. I'm just gonna like... Uh, oh, they already did it. Wow, that's quick. Oh, come on, let me auto... Fuck, my... Oh, my ult had one second... Damn it. That's uh, my bad. That's completely my bad what I just did there. But I was hoping that I'd get my ult back in time. Also, I got clipped by the uh, Leona ult. which was really poorly played. But simply all I had to wait... I had to get was my ult. And it has like a two second cooldown. Once I got that, I would have killed both... Um, Zix and Callista with it. Plus, I would have probably uh, killed Leona as well. I, I was just underestimating like my time, the time on my ult, because I thought I would get it back once I was fighting. That's why I picked the fight. That's the only reason I picked that fight because three v one is really not smart to do. But yeah, I, I was obviously mistaken, as you saw. Oh well, can't have it all, I suppose. Miscalculations uh, sometimes just kill you, I guess. Ah, my... Why? The Echo is both side. Uh, at this point, I just clear these camps like really fast, especially when I have blue buff. Also, since I have a Zin mid, I'm not really giving blue buff to my mid laner, like it doesn't matter. I should probably just try to kill this Echo because he's pretty free. And I'm just gonna clear my camps first, I think. Actually, no. This, the mid laner is not mid, so I'm picking up this farm. I'm just gonna E for it. Damn. Holy shit, that, what, what the fuck was that? Oh. I'm on my way top lane as well, like, they really need to be careful here. Alright, damn. Alright, okay. Oh, come on, really? I'm p popping my health potion right now because I, I have a feeling that Kha'Zix is still around here somewhere. Fuck this, dude. Come on. This is annoying. 
Let me see if, if he's still around here somewhere. He might be. Oh, he's clearly not. That's unlucky. Damn, I, I got so close to t killing all of them there, but I just couldn't get it done. That's kind of unlucky. Wow, this is still the first scuttle crap. I thought X six would have cleared that by now. Like, damn. At least I still killed Maokai, so it's fine. I still got a kill from it. And I believe it's already also a shutdown kill, was it? I'm not sure if it was. I still got something from it at least, but I should have had all three. Like it was so close to get them all. Oh well. Uh, how much is my Triforce right now? Let me see. Alright, still quite a bit off, but I can pick up a Phage right at this back. I'm gonna back now and pick up a Phage, uh, a Phage, a Sheen I mean. Picking up Sheen will give me the, a lot of extra burst damage, so that helps me out. I'm just gonna pick up the crit chance over the uh, attack speed, since I have one item slot at this point. Getting crit chance helps me more than getting attack speed, simply because crit chance can give you that massive hit. It uh, doesn't have much chance, it's a 10% chance, but it's still a chance. And just attack speed doesn't really help you a lot on Hecarim at all, so... I'm running to his red buff. Might be up, but... Also, because Callista will probably be in this region right here. I might kill her. Alright, that was pretty nice. Nice quadra kill right there. Not bad, not bad. This at this point I'm just pushing mid lane. What I was doing there is just mainly focusing the Callista before I focused anyone else because then she couldn't ult Leona out of stupid situations. Also I had plenty of damage to um, actually kill Callista instantly. Mainly because I have uh, the Sheen as well now, and I have a lot of armor pen on this page because I don't have the movement speed quins. I have a lot of armor pen. I, I just can't do much. I can't stay here. I wasted everything on that fight right there. I got a lot of damage onto a lot of them at the same time. So, like, Hecarim is really good at just damaging people in area of effect. And since Callista is probably their biggest damage source right now, maybe K6 as well, but Callista is probably their biggest damage source since I killed her first. Their entire team just suddenly became, like, pretty useless. <laughs> so yeah, um... I might just have some fun this game and pick up, like, I probably shouldn't do that. I kind of want to, but I shouldn't. I'm just gonna pick up the smart thing and just go for the, um... Deadman's Blade. Deadman's Blade is the smart choice. But you can also just go AD and build like a Ghost Blade or like a Blade of the Rune King, that's just fun. But I'll, I'll play it smart and I'll play it like in my guide so you guys get an idea. But yeah. I think this game at this point should be pretty in the back. Our vein is pretty fat, I'm really fat. And we have yeah, overall a decent team. Not gonna smite that. I'm gonna pick up this blue though. We have pretty much all their turrets right now. We should probably get their mid hit like now or really soon at least. I'm smiting this again just for the buff. I have two smites, so might as well just smite once. Ooh. Just run this way, man. Yeah, that's probably not good. Yeah. Wait, why did she flash there? That's not smart at all. I'm running bot lane. I'm gonna be very careful because I respect K6's isolation damage right now. I also need to respect Callista damage, I'm just running away right now. If I can make it to a jungle camp and lifesteal off it with my W, I can maybe do something. But I think Brand has this covered with his ult, maybe. I got him. Fuck, I ghosted for nothing then. His passive got him. I was not sure if his passive was going to do enough damage, but it clearly just did, so. I'm just going to push this. 
build Death's Dance? Are you fucking kidding me right now? I mean, I can, but... It's smarter to just get the armor to survive them right now than getting a Death's Dance. Death's Dance is more of like a fifth item on Hecarim. After you get your, um... Deadmans, at least. So, yeah. I mean, it's not, it's obviously, it's a good item. Like, I'm not saying it's not, because it gives you life steal and everything like that, but... Getting Deadmans gives you more armor and health, and tankiness is overall a better choice after Triforce than damage. Damage pretty much makes it so you're, um... Where is Death Dance? Oh, yeah. It's a smart choice. I, I'm, I'm agreeing with him right now, since I'm fat. But, uh, overall, Deadmans is a better choice after Triforce, since you already have a shit ton of damage. Like, building full AD is fun, and if you can play Hackerum, like, pro properly, then it's a good choice if you're ahead. But if you don't really know what you're doing on Hackerum perfectly, then building full AD is kind of risky. And since I'm kind of want to just do this to show you, I'm just gonna make sure that I go for the uh, tanky type of build. I'm just gonna kill Callista then, if she stays out of position like that. There you go, no problem. Alright, I'm just gonna help this brand out right here. Oh, you already had it? Okay, fine. Just get two and hit. Alright, sure, let's go. Let's just go for Baron. Like, uh, this Zin wants to do Baron, we can potentially just do this, I think. Especially with Brand's passive. Brand's passive does a lot to Baron and Dragon, so... We don't need Vayne after this passive. Go. Not even smiting because I just know that Brand's passive does enough. But at this point, I'm just gonna pick up like some extra damage. I'm just selling this. I have not placed it anywhere yet, but I'm holding on to it for way too long. So. I'll, I'll build De Death's Dance right now. Normally, I'd build like something like Spirit Visage, maybe a Ghost Blade for fun or something like that, but I'm, f I'm very fat, so I can't. I've quite uh, a lot of room to do whatever I want right now. Oh, the red should spawn any second now, so I'm just gonna sw start sweeping right now so I know if I walk over any wards. Go. There you go. And there we go. I'm just gonna take this red, but I think they're gonna surrender or yeah they Echo said in all chat they open mid, but it's pretty solid game. It shows you pretty much what uh, what you can do with Hecarim. So if you're interested in playing these champions, just go to the guide in the description and I'll explain everything in detail from the item build there. So yeah. Alright, uh, GG well played to the enemies, I guess. GG well played. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to vote for my next champion, go to the Strapple link in the description, click any of those champions, and the most voted one will be the next champion. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye!